Right, so uh, welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to another uh, podcast with your host, Timmy25. That's me, guys. I'm Timmy25. Welcome back to another early morning podcast with your boy. That's right. We are uh, back another Friday. Now we're at three days in a row. Oh, my God. Congratulations, everyone. We did it together, okay? Your boy's back on form. I'm back with the podcast nice and early. What's up? Good day to you too, Was Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Anyway, massive shout-out to the guys over at YouTube.com. Massive shout-out goes out to the guys over at Twitch.tv. Big shout-out goes out to Cash Bear and also Wox. Wox. I don't know how you say that. Wox, maybe. Uh, thank you for joining us over at Twitch.tv, uh, as always. Um, new to the stream? Why don't you smash that like button? Why don't you smash that goddamn follow? And then you can uh, follow us forever. Where the hell is my cloth? The camera looks a little bit... Does the camera look okay? It looks a bit like... It needs a bit of a cleaner wipe over, I think. I don't know. There we go. Uh... Let me just put the studio lights on one sec, guys. I thought it was bright enough in here, but it obviously isn't because I'm still quite dark. So, uh, anyway, so thank you for joining us uh, as always. Uh, I'm your boy Tamoon25. Hopefully, you guys will join us for the next uh, couple of uh, for for an hour and a half, roughly, of uh, awesomeness. That's right. If you guys want to join us uh, as a guest in today's podcast, you're more than welcome to come and join us and give us your opinions live. We can hear you through Discord.com. All you've got to do is head over to Discord uh, and jump in, and I'll give you the permissions to join the podcast. The podcast is actually locked off, um, so if you want to join, it's very easy to do. Uh, tomorrow is going to be RDR2, hopefully, uh, so join us for that tomorrow. Do you remember me? Ha, I used to play with you on GTA PS3. Guess what? I don't remember you. But that's not to say I uh, don't remember the GTA 5 days. Everyone remembers the GTA 5 days. Um, so anyway, if you guys have never joined the podcast before, it's uh, we basically recap and retouch on things that have happened ages ago. But I like to revisit and look at them. Maybe there's an update to the story. Maybe there was an opinion that wasn't given. And my opinion definitely wasn't given. So that's what matters, right? Uh, anyway, before we start, we'll see a massive shout out to the guys over at YouTube. Back part. Thank you for joining us. Also, a big shout out. As I said to the guys over at Twitch, Cash Bear and Wax, you get two shout outs well in the same stream. Also, a big shout out to goes out to the sponsors because without them, this is impossible. A massive shout out goes out to Cinch Gaming, City Keys, and not forgetting those infamous people over at Razor.com. Also, the T4 Army merchandise, and not forgetting G2A.com, G4G, and Streamlabs, and also the infamous The Gaming Pad, DA Gaming Pad, uh, dot com. Checking us out. Also, we've got the infamous uh, Epic Games. With the supporter creator code. That's right. Your boy got a creator code. If you want to support me over at Fortnite. Just type in the goddamn supporter creator code thing. My name. To me 25. One word. Same as the channel. Boom. You support your boy. Um, also, uh, please be sure to check out the merchandise. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, what have we got? We got. Uh, you should call out Logan for boxing. <laughs> should I? Let's have a fight, Logan. You know what? He's a lot younger than me, and he would literally, I reckon, and he's a lot taller than me. I mean, I'm only like five foot five, so he's like six foot something, near enough. So, yeah, complete disadvantage, okay? Complete disadvantage. Not to say that I wouldn't kick his ass, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, I'd be, he'd be at a disadvantage against me because I'd just go straight for the balls, you know? Pow! Papow! He like no children after that. What's up, Suicide? Thanks for joining us, dude. Um, over at YouTube.com. Don't forget, guys, if you want to join the conversation, if you want to get involved with the chat, if you want to be able to voice your opinion, you can be a guest on the show. Very easy. All you got to do is download Discord onto your phone, onto your tablet, onto your computer, whatever it is, uh, and then just find the server. I will drop the chat link in the description. Uh, I will actually in the chat. Sorry, I'll drop it right now in the chat, and that will take you over to Discord. It, if you don't have Discord, it will actually get you to download Discord, um, and then you can actually join the chat. You can give your opinion live. You can chat with me about what we're going to be talking about in the next hour and a half, 
uh, and just generally not be boring. Okay, if you don't want to be boring, come and do it today. Um, what did he say? He got deleted again. You, you're five foot five, bro. I'm five foot nine, dude. I ain't a tall. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a tall guy. I just look big on TV. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you met me in real life, you'd be like, "Holy shit, he's quite short." That's right. Most of us people who are famous, we're quite short, except for a very small number who are actually average height. <laughs> I'm five taller than you. Ha! That's right. And you probably thought you were short, but. No, you're not. I'm the same size as Nick Marshall, who's also another uh, YouTuber now, um, long time supporter of the channel, and uh, we're about the same height as well. Anyway, so on today's show, we're going to be talking about a few things. The first thing we're going to be talking about is Logan Paul uh, versus Sage Northcutt. Do you remember when this came out? I uh, I remember. Uh, also, George Georgia School Paddling returns. So there's a school in Dallas, Texas, who are bringing back basically paddling if you know what paddling is it's that big wooden stick that you smack people's asses with they're going to be bringing that back into their school they've actually got rights to do it as well uh both them gene shooting we're gonna be talking about that and also red dead redemption what the fuck i didn't do that one Red Dead Redemption. what did i get the other bit from oh bollocks i've just jumped ahead red dead redemption to online november i don't know why i've written that okay fine we've jumped from uh, i was meant to be talking about red dead redemption 2 but we've uh, done a little a little boo boo so basically we're going to jump on uh telltale games and them shutting down so we're gonna have to swap these two around otherwise next week's show is gonna look really weird when i do this story again so that's gonna be the stories for today uh, and uh hopefully you guys are interested and the stories are interesting because it's all about that. Uh, like where you meet, um, wait, Tifo, you should do Taurus. Nah, dude, I'm not famous enough to do Taurus. What's wrong with you? Where, where, where do you even live? Do you live in, in England? Um, Commander Root, what's up, dude? Thanks for joining us over at Twitch. And also, it's still cool. Thanks for joining us as well. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you're watching us over at YouTube.com, be sure to slap that like on the video. I'm really disappointed with the amount of likes uh, that we're getting on the videos. Um, so please, please, please. Help your boy not come and find you and harass you. Hit that like button today. Anyway, right, moving on to the first story. We got uh, Logan Paul on stage Northcutt fight. I'd have to train my ass off. Uh, so Logan on stage Northcutt, I'd have to train my ass off. This is basically uh, the retaliation. So uh, Logan Paul uh, known, knows he can't jump into the octagon and wreck Sage Northcutt. I mean, who can, right? Um, telling TMZ Sports, uh, if the two hammer out a deal, we'd have to train his ass off first. So, as you guys know, Logan called out Sage Northcutt, or Sage Northcutt called out Logan Paul after the KSI fight, because um, uh, Logan was saying, like, oh, I would love to get back into the arc. I would love to get into the octagon. You know, you bring some of my true talents with wrestling and all that jazz that we've heard about UFC fighters who could wrestle before and they got smashed like there was no tomorrow. Um, so th it's the same kind of concept of what's going on here. East London, damn, dude, you're not even far away from me. Anyway, um, so um, you should take us. You should take. You should call up my company and uh, get us to come and do a gaming party for you. When's your birthday? Call us up. They're not, we're not that expensive. We're quite cheap. And you get to meet me in real life. <laughs> Dude, that'd be sick, right? Uh, can you send the Discord link? I did. I'll do it again. One second. There you go. There you are. That that link that I've just put in the chat is for Discord. It actually says... What the hell is it? Why is it not posting over it? Okay, sorry, my bad. I don't know why it's not posting. Why the hell is it not posting over there? Anyway, sorry. There you go. Uh... Uh, walks there is the discord link uh, anyway uh, what was I saying yeah um, so here's a little video uh, of what happened with uh, Sage Northcutt all you got to do is uh, switch on your headphones and have a little listen to this this is quite interesting hold on let me just back this out one sec I just forgot to maximize we're gonna go maximum maximum says right here's the video anyway guys have a listen to this. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tim's on the street. He's damn, damn right, damn right. Oh, actually, I don't think you guys can hear the audio from this. One second, sorry. I've just realized that that's muted. Nah, but it, I mean, yep. it'd be so fun. We'll, like, we'll do I it just again, have, we'll do it again. We'll Yo, Logan, again. you okay. think you do a, a UFC fight, bro? Okay. Hey, you did really well with the no boxing, audio. man. I said, I said you did really well with the oh, boxing. Thank okay, you, bro. Yeah, so man. Um, Sage Northcutt is trying to call you there out. You go, dude. You can join the yeah, chat what now. do you think about that, though, Logan? I think it'd be fun. Go, you, the, uh, so, so you actually might, might do that. I mean, um, I know chat. you wanted to do I mean, MMA before. And you, I mean, you think it's something you would train for and, and, and handle that guy or what? Uh, I wouldn't say I'd handle Sage Northcutt. <laughs> Sage Northcutt is an animal. All right. Uh, nah, but it, I mean, backtracking, like, Logan. I, have, I would have to train my ass off. You know, okay. I'm not gonna hop in there like this. Like, yeah. Okay. I see you. I see you. What? Like a fat guy. Well, you look sharp always, Thank man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Yep. And that was that. That was uh, Logan Paul crapping himself after realizing uh, there are some people in the world that you just cannot just easily defeat. Uh, Sage Northcutt being one of them. Um, you Wax, you currently muted yourself. What's up, man? Oh, there you are. Hey, what's happening, bro? You cool? Hold on, I can hear the stream and you. One sec. Yeah, just mute the stream. Or, yeah, mute the stream, actually. That's best. Um, everyone should... Actually, let me just quickly check your mic is being heard. Right, say a little something for me. What's up? No, that's not... Hold on, say it again. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Right, okay, so uh, you guys should be able to hear his mic, which is great. Um, anyway, so do you remember this story about uh, Logan Paul calling out Sage Northcutt after the KSI fight? Do you remember this happening? No. <laughs> okay, so basically, right, so obviously you know what happened with Logan Paul and KSI. It was a draw, massive build-up to yeah, fucking I, nothing. I another, another episode, another drama, you know, like, which made no sense. Um, by the way, where do you live? In oh. England or U US? No, Australia. <laughs> hey, hey! Wow, what time is it there right now? Uh, 7.59 p.m. Damn! On a Saturday. It's, okay, uh, it's so Friday night. Th th this is great because I can get the, the goddamn Australian fans on board because this is like in your time zone. You know, this is like perfect time. Yeah. So when I say this is an early freaking podcast over there, it's like a god. <laughs> <laughs> it's just at the right time. Anyhow, so um, when this fight finished, um, didn't Jake Paul he call was out saying, Chris Brown? "What's that?" Didn't Jake Paul call out Chris Brown or something? No, no, he didn't. He yeah, he did, but he called out like a UFC fighter because he oh. wanted to get back into the octagon yeah. and because of his wrestling background and blah blah blah. But then Sage thought, you know what? Because obviously. You know the the money behind a fight like with Logan Paul and KSI was massive. They got a you know, it was like a ton of money, <laughs> dude. They made money like there was no tomorrow, right? <laughs> so I think in that respect, it's like I think Sage was thinking, you know what? It's a big profile fight. It's not going to be a proper fight. He's he's going to probably smash him anyway. Yeah. Um. But either way, oh god, I can't believe is is the stream still working? Yeah, it's still working. Okay, over at YouTube as well. Twitch is working at least. Oh my god! Please don't block my YouTube channel, you fucking thing. Um, that's TMZ for you. Anyway, so um, so basically, uh, Logan said that he wants a real uh, deal UFC fight, and Sage Northcutt told us he's down to give him that match. Now, I think like going to fight Sage Northcutt is like trying to fight, like it's like going from like being a, a amateur gamer. Yeah, to being su like not even pro, like yeah. super pro. I mean, if you've seen Sage Northcutt, I mean, that kid is like he's 20 and yeah. he's fighting people like who are way older than him it's and like, are stronger than him, yeah. but they just cannot compete with this guy, you know. I don't know what you think. It's like me calling out Tifu, 
Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, the guy is it's ridiculous, bro. You know, it's literally, I mean, I, I've seen, I mean, I I don't feel like Sage has had enough um, breaks, uh, to be honest with you, because I think he could be the biggest name yeah. in UFC. Because I think if he fought uh, Conor McGregor, he, Conor would lose to that kid. You know, but they were not in the same weight category. That's the only problem. But because I just seen his technique. I mean, he doesn't get hit very often. Yeah. That's because he doesn't really want to bruise that beautiful face of his. He wants to, you know, make sure he smashes someone else. And He's also like, no know. one really wants uh, to get hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, who who goes into, a, you, you, we have put down your video for Demon Attack. God damn it! Uh, uh, no, because it's saying to me right now, it, it's saying to me right now, YouTube is saying to me right now, content issue detected. Heads up, we've detected copyright audio and video in your oh. stream. Your stream may be temporarily blocked. So if you're watching us over at YouTube and for whatever reason you can't see the stream, just jump over to Twitch um, while we uh, while we don't play any more shit from TMZ. See, I can <laughs> play things from everywhere else, right? But these fuckers, they, they're literally just a, a nightmare. And I, when I saw the story, I was like, oh, my God, I can't find it anywhere else. I can only find it on TMZ because the other ones were just so tragic. But... Well, now, we, now we're now we paying for it. Uh, what's up, Angel of Light? Have you come to give us more light? Brand new to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Hit a follow if you're here. Brand spanking new. Um, but the thing is, I think with the whole Sage Northcut thing, is that, um, I mean, Logan backtracked a little bit because afterwards he was like, you know, if I'm going to fight this guy, I'm going to have to train like a boss, you know, which is fair enough. At least he's, at least he's recognized that he can't just jump in and just go, Ape on the stage like he did with KSI, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, no matter. You... This? Yeah, KSI, go. KSI. yeah, go. Yeah, That should have won. Should have won. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I, I think. I mean, I watched the fight back to be honest with you, and I think KSI did have the upper hand in the later rounds, and I think. Um, KSI played it. Smart. I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I saw Logan lost a lot of stamina. Like yeah. stamina wise, he doesn't have. You know, he's good for the first. First three rounds, you know, it was okay, but he started struggling. Yeah. Because they fought for how many rounds? Was it was it six? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so by the time the third round had finished, you could see Logan was, like, hot and bothered. Like, he needed to go home or whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah. And um, and KSI was like, let's go, dude. Let's bring it. Keep bringing it. Uh, T4, did you hear about KSI and his brother going against the Oh, yeah, brothers? that's... Yeah, I, I heard it, yeah. I mean, that's just... That, that's just talk, you it's know? It's private, man. It's just talk. private. It's, it, that's, that's not even that's not even they just I mean we're going to be talking about that in a future video but I'm trying not to jump into that shit right now yeah. Um, because the thing is like with the podcast I like to talk about things which were relevant and yeah. it became kind of goes out of the limelight and then I'm like hold on a second did anyone even remember this happening like <laughs> hello <laughs> this is what was happening like literally a few months ago okay Um, so I think it's just really interesting to look at some of the older stories that happen. I don't look at all of the stories. I just pick specific ones where, you know, you hear fighters saying, you know, they want to do certain things or YouTubers say they want to do certain things. And this is one of those stories that came up that I was just like, I mean, Sage got a lot of backlash on this because obviously Ke Logan's not even a fucking fighter in the UFC or, he, or even in MMA. Um, and for him to call him out saying, yeah, I'll give you that fight. It was like more like of a publicity thing, you know, and a lot of people called him a bitch for it. I mean, I don't know. What do you think about this, Wox? Yeah, no, I think they just did it for clout. They just want money. I mean, that's the thing, because I was even looking at some of the pay that the USC fighters get. And some of them don't even get a lot. They get like 50 grand to do a fight. Yeah, I know. You know? And like, then when you're looking at people like... It's not Campbell, even... Like, Logan doesn't even need money. Like, he's, he's stacked. He doesn't need He's any. stacked, definitely. But I don't know. I don't know if Sage is in the same kind of arena or whether he's actually, you know, he's working for that penny. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but um, but that's that's really what I wanted to bring up about the whole thing was just the fact that Logan called, Sage called him out. Logan was like, I don't think I can fight this guy yet. I'll have to train my ass off. And the fact that Sage, I think kind of, this kind of backlashed a little bit on Sage because I think he's a pro fighter and I don't think... Uh, the kind of attention that he got from this was really required for him because it just, I don't think it worked out the way he was hoping it was going to work out. Yeah. Um, personally. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you're watching us live or, you, or whether you're watching us on playback. Um, we would love to read out your comments or hear what you have to say. Um, um, what, you... Any final words, Vox? Um, I'm just give, give me one second. I'm going to join on my computer. I'll literally be on in like two seconds. 
All right, dude, no worries. Okay, so he's going to jump across. Uh, we, we In the meantime, we're going to move on to story number two. Um, we are looking at Georgia's school reinstating paddling to punish students. That's right. This uh, Georgia school. So this was reported by uh, uh, Caitlin O'Kane, September 10th, 2018. Uh, this, was, this has been reported on by CBS. Um, so we've got a little video for you guys to watch and I will put that on right now for you. Just give me a moment. Let's just play that and maximize the Be able to sit down for this one. A Georgia charter school is planning to bring back the use of paddles on students who break the rules this year. The Georgia School for Innovation and the Classics sent home consent forms to parents requesting permission hey, to spank their children. Yo, with wooden is forms. that better? My quality brother. The form says yeah. after their third oh, yeah, offense, really students good. will be taken before, behind yeah, closed doors yeah, and receive, better. quote, Sick. no more than three We're licks. to this uh, Georgia wow. school. The school uh, superintendent paddling. told our Augusta affiliate mm. WRDW that a third of parents who returned the forms gave consent. Wow. There was a time where corporal punishment was kind of the norm in school and you didn't have the problems that you have. It's just one more uh, tool that we have mm. in our disciplinary toolbox. Parents can opt out of the controversial policy. Instead, their child could face suspension for up to five days for misbehaving. Dang. Georgia is one of 20 states where paddling in schools is legal. That's interesting to know that in 20 states it's legal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Glad we didn't go to school in Georgia. I'm opting out. I don't think somebody should be allowed to physically physically punish your child. That's parents, parents too? Yeah. Yeah, you shut the fuck up there, didn't you? Ha <laughs> ha! That's right. Parents do. Exactly. Exactly, you goddamn idiot. Anyway, so this Georgia school, right? Yeah. Uh, a high school in, I can't even say that, His, His, Ziba, Georgia, is drawing national attention after sending consent forms to parents informing them of a new policy of using paddling as a form of punishment for students. CBS affiliate. Uh, whatever. Uh, the Georgia School of Innovation and Classics, um in a kindergarten through ninth grade charter school is bringing back paddling, spanking a child on the behind with a wooden board as a form of discipline. Superintendent Jody blah 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 about 100% 100 parents sent back the forms and one third gave the school consent to beat their child. Jesus in Christ. this school <laughs> yeah in this school <laughs> we take discipline very seriously. The superintendent said there was a time where corporal punishment was kind of a norm in a school, and you didn't have the problems that you have today. Well, so the thing is, I don't. Th I yeah, go on. I'm I'm younger, so like I never experienced this, but because I'm literally eighteen, I'm still in year twelve. But um, I have never like I've always heard like parents talk about like how they got like treated in schools, so and I was like, there's no way that would have happened today. But like... No, and, and, and I, bet, I bet you your parents didn't say like, "Yeah, I fucking enjoyed it." <laughs> Unless they you know, you. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, I fucked around in school and I got a beating for it. I fucking loved it. You know, <laughs> it kept me on a straight and narrow. You know, now I'm a straight person now. You know, you know, there was none of this gay shit back in the day. There was none yeah. of this homosexual because we got the pedal if we thought about sucking dick. <laughs> you know, I I don't think that was. I don't think for a second anyone. From that era, he's thinking, yeah, dude, beat my child at school if he fucked around, you know. I don't think that's the way forward, you know. I mean, the thing is, the irony about this whole story, yeah, and the thing mm. that I want to kind of bring up is that discipline, you know, they use the word, you see this, this is what I don't like about, about like, like how um, terms have been changed from one thing to another. So, like, for example, if you shout out the word Muslim, Everyone says terrorist. Yeah, you know, it's like it's like, it's like stereotypes become, that just come from it. Word association. You sound like you shout you shout out Chinese, and everyone's like chicken fried rice. You know, it's just yeah. become like word association. You know, so discipline now, for some weird reason, has been associated with beating people up. Yeah. You know, like punishment. I was when gonna, really, I, if I you look in the dictionary, <laughs> yeah, go on. I was going to use another term, but it's probably not appropriate for stream. So, go on, say it. Uh, I've already blocked on YouTube. Twitch won't give a fuck unless you say the N-word. That, that's the N -word. what I was going to say. Whatever it is. No, don't say don't, that word. Yeah. No, like, uh, definitely not. I won't. Definitely not that word. But, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it, it's just, like, become a meme. It's become... 
word association yeah. that's right so the thing is even with the word discipline right discipline is actual definition okay mm -hmm. is to teach that's what it's that's what it means it means to teach mm -hmm. okay and these fuckers are associating the word discipline like if you if you look up the definition the word, does it say does it say teach yeah it says teach if you I'll, I'll i'll google it right now for you guys so you guys can see it yeah, if you have a look you'll you'll be like oh my god so what because what i always thought it was was just like the definition of gay i love it i love it. of <laughs> so just this 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 line okay i'll spell that yeah one. mine says the practice of training people to obey rules or code of behavior so so here we go oh discipline noun a personal follower of christ during his life <laughs> oh no i've written disciple <laughs> whoops <laughs> hold on a second hold on that's the wrong word there we go everyone yeah mine just says on, obeying can... rules Okay, yeah, so the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using Punishment. punishments to correct disobedience, right? So a lack of proper blah, blah, blah. A branch of knowledge. Typically one studied. Typically one studied in a higher education. Yeah. So, and then there's the verb version, which is train Means someone to obey rules or code of behavior using punishment to correct <laughs> disobedience. Yeah. And then it goes further on to say... Uh, the third verb is discipline, which is uh, past tense, dis whatever, blah, blah. There's a lot of words yeah, here. Training no, someone to evoke punishment, punish or rebuke formally for an offense. Train oneself to do something in a controlled and habitable way. And is that a word? Here, is that how you spell habitable? Apparently. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it is a word, but... It says, no, habitual. That's okay, what I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, habitual, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, yeah, to teach. You know, mm. it says there, training, which I'll, I'll take as teach. Um, yeah. So it's not necessary to do with punishment as such. Um, but they are associated with punishment all the time. Every time they work, use the word discipline, they bring it to the word punishment. So let me just carry on reading this quickly. The form uh, sent uh, home explained the steps the school would take to discipline children with a paddle. Uh, a student will ta be taken into an office behind closed doors. The student will place their hands on their knees Jesus. or piece of furniture and will be struck on the buttocks with a paddle. The form <laughs> which was obtained um, reads, students will be paddled after their third offence. The form also says no more than three licks should be given if they're trying to make this the, the paddle if they're trying to make this the, norm then why do they have to take them behind closed exactly doors and, well well the, well the thing is well no no it's not that it's like they have to um gain consent one and two obviously that kind of punishment i don't think they're legally allowed to do yeah it. they're not <laughs> like i don't think they're allowed to just do it like out in the open you know uh the paddle will be 24 inches in length so that's about like the size of a, a 30 centimeter ruler no inches sorry 24 inches is quite big, yeah. actually. That's like, that's like that long. It's, it's, it's like the length, it's like half a meter. That's yeah. quite a big paddle. Uh, six inches in width, uh, which is also quite a wide area, and three and a half inches in thickness. So you can get that real good <laughs> sound, you know, that, that, you know, so you can get that real, you know, uh, thickness. Uh, the form sp uh, specifies parents will be notified if their child is to be paddled by an administrator, according to the form. Yeah, like they would do that in America, okay? That's the country that shoots first, asks questions later. Let's not forget it, okay? Mm -hmm. Question that, that that's, that's, the, that's the country that we're talking about here, okay? Shoot first, ask questions later, mm -hmm. okay? Come on. They're not going to fucking inform anybody, okay? They're going to smack your kid, and then your kid's going to come up with a red ass, not going to be able to sit at the dinner table. They're going to want to sit like on their knees or some shit. And you'll be like, what's the problem? What's the matter with you? And they'll be like, I got beat today at school. <laughs> uh, it's just one more tool we have to discipline di uh, in our disciplinary toolbox uh, that we can use. I don't even see how. I just think to myself, if you have to go to the down this route, if you have to go down this road of this amount of excessive you know, yeah. thing. You have to use this kind of force to discipline the kids within your school. You must have some bad kids there. Either that, okay? either that or you're a bad teacher, but usually it's the kids. But the thing is, 
I always say, like, if you see a kid who's misbehaving, blame the parents, okay? Normally, there's not enough discipline with the parents. The parents are probably just like, do what the fuck you like, okay? Don't ask questions. Just enjoy life. Because most likely, their upbringing was, like, filled with the same kind of problems, maybe. Maybe they, they were, like, treated really harshly or they were given too much discipline. So, therefore... They kind of retaliate when they have their own kids. They're like, no, we're not going to do this. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to let them do this. We're going to let them. And then before you know it, the kids are like absolutely out of control. And they're like, I can't stop my child from playing computer games. Fortnite, Fortnite. Yeah, you know, they've spent so much <laughs> money. All my wages go on Fortnite, you know. That's or I heard this thing the other day. It was really hilarious, right? There, there was a 911 call where the mother said that the daughter stole forty dollars of her money oh my god so now she owes so now she owes her the forty dollars and i'm like how can a minor owe you money that they don't even owe yeah, i know they can't owe they cannot owe you the money okay okay that doesn't make any you let them steal your own money but you can't then say that they owe you that money they, they don't have no means they don't have an income. to earn money to give you back the money <laughs> yeah. you fucking dumbass okay okay you know the, you let your kids you know, you like, you're not obviously you know, very uh good at being a parent <laughs> no i mean dude i mean it's just ridiculous um so really i mean with this story, the thing i found hilarious with this story was the fact that this state that like a third of parents actually said yeah let's do this you know <sighs> this is what we need okay we need our kids to be beaten by the school because we can't do it at home what if the teachers don't you know, feel comfortable we- doing it but the thing is, apparently, just the superintendent will be doing the oh. actual paddling. So, like, so like, it's like the head teacher, I guess, of the school. And this is just so one like, school, yeah. It's just one school in this particular state in Dallas, Texas, <coughs> that have taken. They're a bit. Apparently, they have a very strict guideline that they that they have anyway. They're a very strict school. Mm. Um, but either way, I just think to myself, you know, it's it's. It's paddling, man. You know yeah. that's quite, that's quite. Sick. I, I mean, I, I even th- remember the like people used to talk about the cane and you get whipped in the hand. Yeah. I'm just thinking like this is on your ass, you know. And, and just to just to double, just to clarify something here, they said right. This is this is the process, okay? The form. Uh, this is the process, right? So mm-hmm. the student will be placed with their hands on their knees or a piece of furniture. So it's like brace yourself. Yeah. You better get kicked. You better get knocked the fuck out. You know, literally. So I'm just thinking. You know, you're gonna get. You get. This is the kind of. This is this is ex. I I personally think it's extreme because, I think there should be no one, especially when it comes to smacking like yeah. your kid, except for parents. I don't think anyone else. Yeah. Has the right because you know sometimes people have like um especially like teachers and stuff they have like a tendency to like like certain children or, yeah, or don't like dislike. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, and, and, and they say, oh, no, that's not the case. Yeah, but yeah. we know that's bullshit. Yeah. You know, we've seen it. That's literally you know? me this so, year. I mean, dude, we were at school ourselves. We know. Okay. Yeah. We know there were certain kids in school that no matter what they did, they seemed to get away with everything. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, the, I, it's like we do one thing wrong. It's like, get on, get on, get on your knees. Yeah. Get on your goddamn knees. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they're just encouraging, so, they're just encouraging violence. So I feel like if this happens at like lunch or something, if someone does something, they're just going to react with hitting. Like, it's but just... that's what I'm thinking, you know. But if you think about, like I was saying to you before, like you know, if you hear about people of that generation who were around when this ex- even existed in schools, yeah, they don't go around saying this was the greatest time ever. Yeah. You know, they say it was like a harsh punishment to be given, and a lot of people you cut out for example. The reason it got taken out of the system. Oh. It's because they didn't want, like, their own kids to suffer that way, I guess. You know, and, and the the magic word there is obviously is, is suffering, you know? And th- and that's what happened. They actually did suffer quite badly. Um, I'm losing connection here. One sec, let me just unplug this frigging cable, which is annoying the life out of me. For God knows how long now. You might hear me just slightly disconnect for a split second, but I'll be yeah. right back. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, it's just because I don't know what's happened. My Cat5 cable has just decided to play up all of a sudden. And I don't know if it's the port on the computer or whether it's the actual cable itself. I have no idea. Um, but, I mean, uh, Works, what do you think? What What's the um, what's your personal opinion on this whole paddling? Oh, to be honest, I think it's not a good thing. That's like I don't really know how to 
get my argument across, but like, I, I mean, if they're thing. if they're having if, if they're having issues with children, like being like misbehaving and whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's there was even those those that who opted out, so those that chose that for the school not to issue this kind of punishment to their children, mm. they were given they, they have they face a possibility of five day suspension from the school. So that's the thing bullshit. is, is that well, that's what they're saying. They're saying if you don't want your kid to get paddled, that that's the that's the altern- alternative to the paddling. You know, five day suspension. Jeez. So the thing is, is that. I mean, in terms of yourself, I mean, you're quite a young guy yeah. yourself. So, uh, what do you think is a way that schools can actually help kids to, um, you know, like to uh, become uh, uh, discipline, like tips? Yeah, like a tip. Um, you know, like, what what is it that 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 schools are doing so badly that they need to look at? To be honest, extremes I, like this. I don't think a lot of schools, in my opinion, like where I'm from. They're, they're usually pretty good. Like they don't really have issues, but like, um, they, I don't know. In year seven, eight to nine, they're kind of just like, oh yeah, I'll chill. Um, I'll muck around in class. But then when it gets to ten, eleven, twelve, like, oh, like shit, this actually like means something. So they don't fuck around. Yeah. But mm. um, in seven, eight, nine, they kind of just like they keep them in at lunch. There's no physical punishment or like there's no like suspension for talking when the teachers talking or like. Not doing homework or something like that. They they'll probably just stay in yeah, a lunchtime yeah, yeah. or get a detention maybe for one day. Yeah, but I think they I think they're just getting you ready for like getting older, right? Yeah, like because uh, I don't know, man. It's because you... I just think to myself like if you don't want to look like you look at like university for example, yeah. right? You 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 pay to go to university, and if you don't if you don't put in the work, you you money. you you just you just fail, yeah. you know, and you know you wasted that money, and there you are. That's your result. You know, if you put in the work, yeah. you're going to get your result that you're looking for. So I just don't understand, like, why, you know? Yeah, because, like, I, I have a job and I realize how, like, valuable money is. And if you think about school fees, like, they're not cheap usually. Um, And yeah. you're just like, oh, shit, my parents are paying for me to do something. I better do it because it's mm-hmm. wasting the money. It'll be a waste of money if not. And, like, if I go to uni, I'm probably going to pay it once I have a job. And I'm just like, oh, that was a fail. That was, I, I failed twice because I like yeah. lost money which is a fail and then also failed <laughs> like and, and the, so the thing is but the thing is you so obviously for you you like your realization of that is is mm. is paramount right yeah. but the thing is is that how can we help like smaller institutes that are obviously they, their children are a lot younger maybe i don't know and mm. I, i'm just trying to think of like what is the alternative like why have they come up with this particular thing over other forms is it is it is it just like they just don't know what to do or they have no ideas what is it i mean do you have anything you could maybe because like it might have like used to happen to them and it kind of made them change but like the, the generation is changing so like it might not work for them but they might stick no, because before. i'm just th- no because for me the way i look at it is like you know like there was once upon a time when this was like this was happening right yeah and then it then those people that it happened to said no this should, shouldn't happen. This is yeah. like abuse because some teachers were abusing their powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, and then we got to this point where it was just like, like you, you've seen it. Like you got little kids who are like mm. literally absolute shits. Yeah. They're just like Worst. <laughs> my sister's a school teacher. Yeah, it's it's like it, it's like a WTF all the yeah. time. Like, are you serious? My like, sister's a school teacher. You got teacher no respect for me, anyone. He'll tell me a new story every single day about how a kid is just being the most annoying little thing ever. And she can't exactly. You know, so, she, she just needs to, she needs to discipline them, but like not in this way. It does. But I'm just thinking, like you know, like so. The, obviously, that extreme of saying like no paddling yeah. or no discipline at school, like to a, a certain degree, and then giving <laughs> children like this power of like you know, I'll, I'll call the social services or yeah. I'll call the the, the, the frigging police or whatever. If, even you, if you touch me, motherfucker, I'll call them. You know, like you know that kind of yeah. you know that kind of rhetoric. You know, like. Like now, how do we switch that to like? Hold on, you're still a kid, okay? They're still like, you know, we're at ad- we're adults and we have rules we got to live by. Yeah, you know, you got rules you got to live by, and and they you got to stick to those rules because. Them, but that's what I'm saying. Like, is that because of the extremes of the two worlds? You know, is that what's created this vacuum now of like now they're just trying to go full extreme again going you know we've got to bring this shit back because mm. you know kids are literally out of control you know i mean who is the victim here and who is the actual um 
you know, who's the enforcer of this really? You know, is it, is it the kids who have brought it on themselves because now their parents are like, you know what, maybe we were wrong. Maybe we shouldn't have, you know, yeah. done whatever. And it's, I think it's quite ironic that is this, this black lady on this, um, <laughs> I don't know her name, but I just, I just find it ironic how she said, right, that she doesn't think it's right that anyone else should be able to beat your kid or whatever. Yeah. And then the guy comes out with, yeah, but parents hit their kids themselves anyway. And then she was like, oh, shit, I do that. And that's why her face looks like this. Okay? <laughs> that's why. Okay, that's it. That is why. Um, but, I mean, that's the that's my opinion. That's our takeaway. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below whether you're watching us live or on playback. Vox, is there anything else you wanted to add before we... Uh, Move on to the next story. No, I pretty much cover it, man. Covered it, dude. Let's get it on. Right, so next one is, <laughs> believe it or not, is reported by Vox. That's right, Vox's uh, brother. Uh, this is to do with Amber Geiger has been indicated for murder after the Botham, Boham, Botham, gene shooting uh the indictment comes nearly three months after the former police officer shot and killed jean in his own apartment so if you guys don't remember this it was basically this police officer shot this guy and then reported that the guy was trying to break in or some shit or whatever but then when they did the investigation the guy was shot from behind so it was like how could he be breaking in if you shot him in the back he must have been obviously leaving so there would be no need to engage with a gun. So again, it's America. So it's, you know, yeah, shoot, shoot now, ask question. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. You know, you, everyone knows this. Okay. I don't, I mean, yeah. My wife said, was saying to me, should we go to America on vacation? And I was like, are you fucking joking <laughs> me? We'll probably get bum raped by the TSA. And then we won't even, you know, like no one would even know what the fuck's happened to me. I've gone to Guantanamo Bay or some shit for just wearing a fucking beard on my face. I went, no, thanks. Okay. No mm. fucking thanks. Anyway, even though though. there's loads of people out there who are like, yo, dude, you should come out here. And I'm like, Hell no, okay? <laughs> no, I mean, YouTube already fucking me over on just having a small copyright issue from TMZ. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, imagine if I came yeah. to America. I mean, that, yeah, that, in America, you're going dude. to have to do a straight SGTA, yeah? Straight, straight, dude, straight. Even anyway, GTA, um, GTA. so... <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, it is a bit like that. You yeah. know, like, you watch... G just play five minutes of GTA 5. <laughs> That's American law, okay? Yeah. Literally. You look at the police the wrong way. What are you looking at? Hey, you stop! Yeah, uh, come back. And, and then uh, I suspect on a run, and that's it. Yeah. Now you're dead. Yeah. And now even if you stop, you're gonna die. Yeah. And half the time, like, the book, like it's actually sad how accurate the game is. And they're just like, oh, like if you if you're not in a car, they'll come in a police car and just run you over instead of like stopping and. <laughs> like trying yeah. to you. yeah you, just, you, you, you get out you put your hands up they still run you over they're like no 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 dude you had your chance okay you had your chance when i looked at you okay that was your chance <laughs> <laughs> everything after that you engaged okay uh anyway so uh, a grand jury has indict indicated amber guyer the ex dallas police officer who fatally shot botham jane in his apartment in September on a murder charge, Dallas District Attorney Faith Johnson announced Friday. So basically, when this news broke initially, uh, there was a lot of like uh, disbelief that this officer was literally going to walk away scot free. So, and and literally out of nowhere, because of social media making this such a big thing, and the and the family of the man as well. Um, is the only reason it's got to this stage. And the reason I wanted to follow up with this kind of stories is because like, if I had talked about this at the time when this stream story was actually, had actually been released, we wouldn't have had this information that we've got now. So this is why, again, I like to wait and talk about stories when they, when they've had time so to die down really. Yeah. Because yeah. then you get the best, you get the most accurate information and then you it's can, the and sometimes well. you get, well, you get closure as well. You know, like a lot of the times like you hear from the news, like you hear a story or whatever, but you'll never, ever hear the ending. what actually happened yeah. afterwards. You only, you only hear the, the, like the, 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 the calamity of it. You don't hear like what was the actual outcome. Like even mm. I was even looking up, you know, when um, uh, Conor McGregor and, um, and Habib had their fight. Oh, yeah. And then there, 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 was, there was all that build up beforehand when Connor smashed the coach thing. And then, yeah. then they had the fight. And then before the fight, Habib 
smashed up one of his trainers and then during the fight after the fight and then when he jumped over the octagon and then his brother attacked god knows who and then he... it all went fucking out of control <laughs> didn't someone punch I, 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 it was so hard it was so hard to find what actually was the punishment for each of the fighters you know it was like yeah. the most different I, I, and i'm looking at that now and i was like what actually happened what was the actual like and they're still investigating it now you know yeah. that it's still under investigation now and i'm just like dude are you being serious so you, 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 it's still no result anyway what were you saying dude Vox, what were you saying i oh, know i was just gonna say didn't he like punch drake or something Punch the what? Didn't didn't someone punch Drake or something, or is that just completely wrong? No, that's just uh, okay. yeah, they just made up yeah. bullshit. There, yeah. No, yeah. You see, you see, there's so many angles. Yeah, you see, no. like people could just add anything to that. So I could just make a video tomorrow. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, um, Habib accidentally elbowed, you know, Miss Dynamite or something mm -hmm. in the face. I don't know. Say some random name. People are like, oh my god, did that happen? <laughs> Try the same video over and over again. You know. <laughs> um. So um. Yeah, so uh, the Friday indictment um, comes nearly three months after the death of Jean, a 26-year-old accountant uh, and a St. Lucia native who, it's, it's, you can't get away from those blood diamonds, man, uh, who was killed on September 6th as he watched a football game in his apartment. So Guy Ger was off duty but still in her Dallas Police Department uniform when she shut her upstairs neighbor after entering what she said she thought was her own apartment you can't get you, you're, you're hearing room. this right yeah yeah guys you're, you're hearing this right right okay saying that she believed she was he was an intruder jean's family has disputed this account arguing that guy has offered contradicting information about the night of the shooting. Gaia turned herself into police on September 9th and was charged with manslaughter before being released on a $300,000 bond that same day. On September 24th, after Dallas Police uh, Urini Hall previously argued that Gaia could not be fired from her job during the investigation, Gaia was terminated by the police department for engaging in adverse conduct when she was arrested for manslaughter. Uh, the grand jury began reviewing evidence uh, of the case. Uh, three mu uh, three options to charge Gaia with manslaughter, to upgrade the charge to murder, or to decline to charge Gaia with anything at all. While an announcement uh, on the charges was expected as early as Wednesday, um, obviously oh, back, back in that day, the jury spent an additional uh, time reviewing evidence and hearing testimony of Jean blah, blah, blah. The murder charge carries a maximum sentence of life in prison, while the initial manslaughter charge carried a maximum of 20 years. The Dallas uh, Morning News also reports that Gaia has been offered to surrender her passport and is not allowed to travel outside of Texas. Um, this is the one, whammon. This is what she looked like. This is the murderer. And you know, it's kind of ironic this because, is like, America. you know. Yeah, yeah, this is this is definitely America. Man. Uh, I, no, it's quite sad because it's like, um, like she's a white lady and mm. she killed a black guy. You know, it's just so like, it's like, damn. I mean, like, why? the amount of stuff like you scroll through like Instagram or something, or like even Facebook or it's, anything, it's just videos of literally a black I mean, guy getting shot. Like I remember I saw a video. I'm sorry for interrupting <laughs> you. I saw a video when I was oh, like right. in year eight, I think, and it literally yeah. like made me feel sick because it was this guy, right, and he had to go. He, he had like some issues like asthma or something like that and uh -huh. he was trying to reach for his ventilant puffer and he was being arrested and he reached for his, his pocket to get his ventilant puffer or something like that and um they he, shot him he, no they, they kept tasing him there was four people detaining him oh, not letting oh, him breathe God. and he died <laughs> because he's trying to get his ventilant puffer and he had four kids and it literally made me sick damn it's just insane man this 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 shoot now and ask questions later dude mm -hmm. i'm telling you what it's I just don't know, man. I just don't know, man. I don't know how they. I mean, the thing is quite. It's quite ironic because they're trying to change. The, they're trying to make gun reform law changes in America, right? Mm. Which a lot of people aren't happy about. But if you think about, like, if you look at the rest of the world, okay, even neighboring countries like Canada, who have the same gun laws, okay, 
but they have like literally like seven gun crimes in a year yeah. and america has over ten thousand gun crimes in a month it's insane man like even did you hear what happened at christchurch in new zealand <coughs> No, no. Oh, yeah, I heard. Dude, that's insane. Uh, that's good to me because, like, nothing ever really happens around Australia. And that is so Dude. close to me. <laughs> I shout, like, that, I... Was, that was in. I mean, we, we spoke about the Christchurch thing when it happened oh. um, because obviously that was quite a. That was something that had to be that was, spoken about. Yeah. Especially the fact that I'm a Muslim as well, you know? Mm. Got, people are going to be like, hey, he's not even talking about this important information. <laughs> um, so, you know, I mean, that, that was something. I mean, I was. I, I, was I thought I was that. watching, like. I thought I was watching a. I thought this was just like a film, or like it this was like, like a. It literally like, looked like COD. Dude, I was just like, this is not real, right? Yeah. This is like, this is like a pretend thing, right? This is just like a. Someone's trolling. Someone made this. This yeah. is a hoax, right? And I was just, like, I mean, the dude, I mean that the graphic, it was so graphic, so like the actual, dude. It, it's it's it's. I mean, I'm just thinking how the f how fucked up must you have got to and he go pleaded, down. I mean, the, he pleaded not guilty. I know. What the fuck? I know, dude. The the thing is, I just think about like you know, like I I say this quite often is like you mm. know, a lot of the time, like people lose the sense of the human side. Yeah. Like we look at our differences over what makes us the same. Yeah. So like I will say, like I'm a Muslim guy. I walk down the road. I see you walking down the road. I'm like, oh, this is a white guy, yeah. and, I'm, and 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 I and I completely like create this like. Oh, you're white, so you you maybe you're a white supremacist, or maybe yeah. you're racist, or maybe you're. I don't look at like. Oh, actually, hold on a second. You're you forget the fact that you're white. You're actually human. You know. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. You're another. You're another human being walking this earth, just like I'm another human being walking this earth. You know, it's it's yeah. like we've we've moved so far away from that way of thinking to. Oh shit, that's a black guy. Watch out, dude. I'm yeah. not walking down that road. No way. He, he's gonna do something. You yeah. Know, or there's a group of youth just doing their little like messing around or whatever. Like you forgot what it was like when you were that age, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, and and they're just fucking around like like you would have fucked around when you were that age. But then everyone's like, yo, call the police because this is gonna get out of control. I can see it already. Yeah. I can see it's gonna happen, okay? And it's is, just like I don't get it, it's just insane. It's um it sounds really cringy, but like even just the saying, don't judge a book by its cover, is just so it's such an easy mm. term to follow, but no one follows it these days at all. No one does it. And it sounds no crazy, yes, but it's just like, it's, it, it's sad. <laughs> but I mean, to be honest with you, though, I was really, really overwhelmed. And I, and I have not, I, I don't think it would have had the impact that it had or even the response that it got compared to what happened in New Zealand. And even with, with Australians mm. in general, in terms of their response to what happened, you know, it was like... It was insane. I, I just, mm -hmm. I just couldn't believe. Like, because uh, I know if this had happened anywhere else in the world, there would have been the whole, oh, it's sad and all that stuff. Yeah. But literally, it went, it went from like, yeah, it's sad and whatever. But this is the support we're gonna give you now. Yeah, you know, like it was, it was insane. Like I was, I was totally blown away by the, the kind of like the support and the yeah, oneness yeah. and the and that realization of like we're human beings. Yeah. You know, fuck. The fact that there's a religion involved, fuck the fact the fact that you know whatever it is, you yeah. know, it's like let's just get back to that. What what makes and this it, even another insane. another situation like I, I'm Sri Lankan, and there's that situation that happened in Sri Lanka with all the bombings at the churches during Easter. Was that yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, I rem I remember that. Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and my 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 um most of my relatives just got there because they're having a wedding. Wow, and I'm so glad they're all okay, but they I'm, I'm... like. It's just, it's firstly, not that you only just bomb something, but you bomb a church where someone is just trying to get, <clears throat> sorry, voice break, trying to get peace <laughs> um, and just like, yeah. like reflect on themselves. And you just, yeah, yeah. One minute you're there. But you, see, you're... It, but you see, even with that incident, right, that happened, yeah, it, it's like, it's like that intolerance, you yeah. know, it's that, it's that. Um, that that brainwashing I call it of like you know like you hear people talk about religion mm. and like they they you know they they are one with their religion and they yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's gonna say their religion is peace and their religion is forgiveness and their religion that's is their point whatever the fuck right yeah that, they're all gonna say that right mm. but then if you look at their mentality if you look at people who are actually like like I I'm Muslim and I mm. and I'm, I'm a full believing Muslim I have full faith in whatever but you know I don't focus my attention on like making people become muslim mm. you know i focus my attention on making myself be a better muslim yeah you know that's what my focus is you know like if you're christian 
focus on yourself becoming the best Christian. Don't focus on making other people become Christian before you've even made yourself that Christian that you wish yeah. other people. I feel like all religions you know? try to reflect on making yourself the best you. Yeah, but the thing is, you find like all of these incidents that happen, like with churches being mm. bombed, mosques getting attacked, it's because they're focusing on the outside. Like yeah. they believe, like if they get rid of this thing, then their whole then then the peace will come. Yeah, which is not true. You know, it's just but, not how it works. but that's not the case. No, God doesn't. God existing doesn't even say to do such a thing, and yet we somehow make up these reasons. Yeah to execute certain things and then we realize we, we wonder why like we're the most bizarre species you will not find it anywhere else anywhere else in the world where mm. you'll find a species attacking its own species because of hate for this species yeah. you won't find it okay we're the only fucking fucked up people that do this okay like you never see a dog attacking another dog because it doesn't like the species. They, they attack because they have predatory and, and territory. Stuff like that. In, yeah, yeah, that's just natural. Be- but humans, we, we, we have free will. We can make an actual conscious decision like, yeah, yeah I think it's fine to commit genocide. You know? But no, dude, it is not fine. <laughs> it's not fine, man. <laughs> Who the fuck said to you that's fine? You know? It, it's, it's totally bizarre. I just don't understand how these things creep into people's mind. Like, how do they believe? How do they make themselves believe that this is the case? Even Thanos, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, you know what? The way we can create peace is to wipe out the Half whole the world. fucking galaxy. That's, that's, that's how we're going to create it. Because then... And then, and then, and then the second, in the end game, he's like, I made a mistake. I should have wiped out everything. Because yeah. then no one would have remembered. And I'm just like... Dude, <laughs> you still don't get it. You still don't get it. <laughs> mm. You don't get what you've done wrong. I mean, there are there is some some. Uh, I guess in some respects there is some knowledge in there. Like imagine if you just wiped out the whole civilization and then they got a chance to restart or something. Yeah, but the thing is, um, what I don't understand is if he had all that power. Like uh, this sounds so shit. We're talking about an end game now, but if he had all that all that like, power, he could have just made yeah. more resources or another planet where they could all inhabit. That's what I'm saying. You know, you know, like, in, yeah, increase, increase what you, I mean, he said his Titan got destroyed or whatever because of yeah. whatever. The, you know, I'm just like, why didn't you just rebuild Titan then? You know, yeah. like, all, all good. You know, you had every stone. You could have just made peace. You could have made everything perfect yeah. as you saw fit. His idea was like, no, no, no. What we're going to do, right? We're going to erase everyone in existence. We're going to turn everyone into powder. That's what we're going to do, okay? And once we've done that, then everyone will realize that they get a second chance to start over. No, man. No one decided to do that. Everyone was like, what? WTF? Where's my mom? <laughs> Where's my dad? <laughs> so, I don't know. This is so stupid. But anyway, uh, back to the story. Sorry about that, guys. We just kind of went off on a little tangent there. Um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, much of the initial coverage of Jean's shooting was uh, shaped by Gaia's account, which was first detailed in September 9th uh, arrest uh, affidavit, which filed after Gaia turned herself into the police. In Gaia's account to the Texas Rangers, uh, the agents, uh, so what she said is Gaia returned to her apartment building after her shift, unaware of the floor she was on, and attempted to use an electronic key to open the apartment door. However, the door was slightly ajar, and the force of using her key pushed the door open, despite the fact that her key did not open the lock. Wait, Gaia she, she entered the said... apartment. On, yeah, right. yeah, listen to this. Look, Gaia entered the apartment, and after seeing a large silhouette, i.e. a black guy, um, she said that she issued verbal commands and then fired twice. Get out of my apartment! It's not your apartment! Bang, bang! That's what basically happened. Uh, striking Jean in the chest. Man, what a shot. She said she did not realize the mistake until she turned on the light. Right. Why did she Called shoot 911 And checked the apartment number outside the door. I mean, what the fu- I mean, I don't understand this. I mean... And then Jean's family has disputed this account, arguing that Jean would never leave his door open and that 
door is in the building make a specific chiming noise when unlocked something that guy should have noticed that night uh so then uh so then it says has said that he spoke to witnesses who heard guy knocking on the door and yelling let me in prior to the shooting hmm. but these accounts were not included in the police search warrant uh, or arrest affidavit because officers said the witnesses did not share these details with the police and bullshit uh, like a red document like a red doormat outside jean's door the mer- uh, the merit said should have um, alerted guy to the fact that she was in the wrong apartment i mean i i put so there was there was something that i really found interesting about this story which was um oh where was it it was somewhere um to me and i'll be back in a sec i'm just gonna go somewhere be like I mean. okay boy no worries dude no worries if that is the case it would be difficult employee protection use deadly force John's family also voiced concerns that the police were blah blah blah. I don't. Uh, there, there was something about there was. There was something I'm sure in this case where she actually um. They actually had some confrontation before this like it was reported that there was some confrontation there before with this guy and then like this was like a catalyst or something i don't know um but uh what was the outcome outcome was as the family's press conference came to a close john's mother linked the death of her son to a broader pattern of black men and women killed by the police it's about all black men and how they are treated in the future she said citing the re- recent police shooting of uh, J- Jamal Robertson in Illinois and uh, Amantink EJ. I can't even say the rest of that. Uh, her son's death, she hopes, uh, will be a signal to officers across the US that they need to Turn think back. first before pulling the trigger. And I, I don't think she's wrong in saying what she said, but I think at the same time, um, there is a lot. I mean, there is a massive thing with this happening in america i don't know about across the world but 100 percent in america this happens a lot i don't know what it's like in australia maybe you can give you a head give us a heads up works on on like police brutality in australia but i i found a lot of the shows i watch uh with the police in in australia mm. are quite um the police are quite chilled out you know yeah, i mean they, they, they let, yeah yeah they, they let people off a lot of shit over there you know i mean mm. I, i'm not gonna lie okay i mean traffic violations and shit i mean i've seen cars over there that I don't even know how the fuck it even starts in the morning, but <laughs> dude, this the thing's drive been dro- driven. The officer stops him over and says, "You know, your car's too low and whatever," and and the guy gives him shit, and then he's like, "Okay, I'm just gonna give you a ticket," and he's like, "Fuck the ticket! Why are you giving me a ticket for it? Blah blah blah." And he's like, "You know what? I'll just give you uh uh just um um what what is it like a warning?" Yeah. But if I catch you on the road again, and then they let him go, and I'm just like, dude, you just took abuse from a citizen, okay? You took abuse. And then you, you back down from what you were going to give him and then you let him off the hook. Mm. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, is that a, is that a, a, a norm over there or, or what? Um, I don't really know. I haven't been in many situations where like I've been pulled over or whatever, but like they... Um, I what about know. on the streets yeah. or, in the, or, in, or in a mall or, you know, on the streets or, you mm-hmm. know, like at the beach or something? I mean, do you, do you see like... Is there pro- is there such thing as police brutality in Australia? Def- There's definitely not brutality from police. No. Um, so they they like working with one with the citizens. You yeah, think? they work with each other. They work with the citizens to make sure that everyone's comfortable in like talking to them or comfortable in making sure like making sure they're just comfortable in the environment. Because if they go up to them and just go ahead and straight up just like give them like that's fine. They're just gonna be oh I hate police. Police are the worst, and they'll spread that. But if they work yeah, with yeah, them yeah, yeah. and they're like oh police are cool. You know they can help out with situations instead of having to always like be a, like a. You won't you won't be so so afraid to go and see them as well. I take it if, yeah. you, if you are having an issue, isn't it? Yeah. That's so so fascinating. I find that absolutely fascinating. Yeah. Um, because it is such a contrast to like some of like like if you look at the US, you know, mm. and you, you know Australia and the US ain't exactly that far apart. Mm. You know, if you believe in the uh, globe, you know, it's not that far. You know, it's like literally like. 
one plane, literally. Mm. Um, so I don't really understand like where this all comes from, to be honest with you. Yeah, um, every country is different. And it, it just amazes me on how different a country can be from each other. No, because the thing is, sometimes they say like, you know, like, like they say like, like a country like Australia, for example, yeah. it's like, it's really chill. Then we're just like, yo, you know, like, yeah, everything's cool. You know, yeah, like, like, you you know, like, have issues or anything like, that. like, no, like global But issues. But then they say, oh, it's, maybe it's the weather, maybe it's the <laughs> climate or what. But I'm just like, dude, it's fucking hot in America as well. You know, mm. but, but the whole fucking of the whole of the US from, from the north to the south to the east of the, the it's like that bracket where it says USA. Yeah. It's like turmoil it's, it's constant like it's just because i feel like you they always just want power and want to keep getting power and they want to change laws to make sure they have power and people who are born in america uh, this isn't just like targeted anyone i'm just saying in general um mm. want power and like people in australia yeah, are chill. Yeah. they have like their own it's like it's like australia's like like, cir- like circled off to their own little island because it is an island mm. but like yeah, 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 yeah. It's like their own thing. Like it's their own culture, and like they're completely different to other ones. Like um, people in like England or people in America or China or anywhere, um, they always have their own culture. It's just that Australia is so like si- circled off, kind of. I don't know. What I don't know. Well, so because like, it's an pure. island. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no like confrontational yeah, countries yeah. like. With it. but then you say that right, mm. but then you know like, Canada's super chill. <sighs> Yeah, I know. It's fucking cold there, dude. You know, and then and you think about like the the country below them is Mexico, <laughs> yeah, which they no. constantly got beef with. But yeah. the Mexicans are just like, "Yo, dude, just have just have a freaking chimichanga. You get me chill out." <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where you where you getting so where you get so stressed? Out? Have a have a mocktail and just chill, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I don't understand. You know, and then if you look at South America, they're just like, I mean, South America also a little bit hit and miss, but. You got you got Peru, you got friggin' Brazil, you got Argentina. I think Brazil's they're... very um a lot more dangerous than people think. It is dangerous, don't get me wrong, but they're not so like uh, it's it's a corrupted country, so obviously, you know, mm. with corruption you're gonna get a lot of shit anyway. But I'm just saying, you know, like yeah, yeah, it's not mean. to the degree that we're seeing in the US where it's you know, they've got loads of laws, there's hardly any corruption as far as they're concerned. Mm-hmm. And you know, things are, you know, the law is, you know, is above everything. Um, it just seems to be more crazy. I don't know what it is. It's like the more rules there is, the more out of control it actually is. Yeah. I don't know. It That's is the just, opposite of what you know, and, do. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't I get, get that. I mean, even me, I'm from, even me, I'm from Mauritius, right? And we're, I'm a, that's a tropical country. And like, when I go there, everyone is just like, yo, just chill, man. Like, like, like you, you, you call for a plumber, for example, to come and do some plumbing work. He'll, he'll come and see you next week. He'll be like, "Don't worry about it. It's all good, dude." And you're mm. just like, "Dude, I can't flush the toilet." He's like, "Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. <laughs> just chill." You know, you're like, "Dude, I can't fucking flush the toilet, though." He's like, "Just don't, just chill, man." And then if you, like the more you get on the case, the more like, "Dude, why are you being like a bitch for? Why you, 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 you? Bitch boy. And I'm just like, it, 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 it's a friggin'. Is you're providing a service, I'm paying you to come and fix this thing, and you're telling me to chill. What the hell? So I don't know. It's just like I, the mentality is different. I don't know. I don't know if the rules cause a problem or not. I don't know. It's just. Mm. It's just I, I don't know. I mean, what do you think, Vox? Do you think that's the case? I mean, I don't understand. It's confusing. It's it's really confusing because like I don't know how to put it, but like every country reacts to things differently. But mm. it. It can either be really good or really bad. Like, I don't understand how... Like, the point you just made, how Canada is, in like, surrounded by all these countries, but it's still, like, an amazing country compared to, like... Yeah. I don't know. It's just... Yeah. I don't, like, I don't know, like, the rules they have in Canada or anything like that, but... Yeah, they must yeah, be doing I mean, something right. <laughs> they're doing something right, dude. I'm telling you that now. Doing yeah. something right. Um, but anyway, on this particular case, I mean, it's uh, it's just sad. I just hope that... <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how they, how 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 they could fix this in America. To be honest, mm. it's just it's just it just seems to be like a, a a recurring problem with their with with police brutality and yeah. you know I I just I I just watch some videos on YouTube where they stop and search somebody. It goes from a simple traffic violation to the person's dead. Jesus, you know, in one in 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 one, in one spell, yeah. you know. 
you know, it's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. And, you know, some people could be having a bad day or whatever. <sighs> you know, be, I don't yeah. know, but... Okay, someone's having but, a bad you know, day you know, and get it... confronted by a policeman, you're obviously not going to be happy. You're going to sound like a pissed off. And they'll take that as offensive. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And, just... and then if the cop's like, you know, oh, obey being... me or oh, die, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's... and then you opt for the die motion, you're dead. <laughs> mm. You're not going home that day. And it's happening a lot. That's the thing. In America, it's happening a lot, man. And I don't yeah. get it. I don't get why. It's it's quite sad, but um, that's uh, that's the story about uh, Botham Jean shooting. Um, this is the lady; she's going to jail, murder. That's right. You can try and lie as a cop, but you're still going to wind up in prison. Um, that's the story. If you guys have anything you want to add to it, please drop it in the comments down below. That'd be great. Uh, and also, don't forget, if you guys want to join us um, for the podcast next week, you can join us. It's quite easy to do. What's up? What are you doing? I am doing a podcast, uh, Loki Lol. Thank you for joining. Um, anyway, if you want to drop your opinions uh, in the comments down below, I'd love to read them out loud. Or if you want to join me in the chat, you can do it as well. Uh, wherever at discord.com, you could just need to get permission to join us. Uh, I can drop the invite. Loki joined. Oh, he actually, wow, he jumped straight in. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, literally. <laughs> okay, hold on, dude. Let me just give you, uh, let me let me give you permission. Oh, fuck off, you piece of shit. Right. Let me give you permission. And you can what days do you play um, Apex by the way, and Fortnite? <laughs> uh, Fortnite we're playing on every Wednesday morning. We play Fortnite. So uh, we start it at... Uh, we start the, the Fortnite stream at 9... About 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Um, Loki, do me a favor. Just mute the stream for me, dude, because I can hear it in the background. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> What's it? Hello? Dude. Dude. Chill. I'm gonna have to mute that one. Okay, you know, I'm gonna have to mute you, dude. I'm gonna have to mute you until you fix that shit. Fix the audio. I can leave it. I'll tell you. How me crap. Oh my god. Dude, that audio is fucked up. My god. Uh, I've had to mute you on the thing because you're gonna, people are gonna you, people are gonna fucking leave the stream for shit like this. But anyway, we're gonna be on to the next story either way. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that last story with both uh, both and uh, Jean. Do you feel like justice was actually served? Uh, did the cop have any right in shooting that guy? Yeah, like, he, <laughs> I mean, very static, let's see, let's see if you can. Is he right now? Is nah, the static still there? It's still there, but it's talking. He's talking. Right. Let me just. See He's trying to. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> holy fuck that's not working for me man it's not working for me i can't have him as a guest sorry dude i can't i cannot have you running as a guest because literally uh, pff, that's just like i've had to mute him so i'm sorry i've had to mute you but maybe just type huh how about typing try typing <laughs> <laughs> um last but not least their story everybody tales tell tales games do you know who the hell that is? No idea who that is. <laughs> no goddamn idea. That's right. So if you're not into the whole... Um, yeah, you can just type in the chat. That's great. Just type in the chat and I'll read out whatever your response is because we can't actually hear you very well. Oh, by um, your mic. Lucky. Hi. <laughs> My mic's laggy. Or his mic's laggy. Whose mic's laggy? Is it me? No, no it's not you. <laughs> he, how's his mic? Is he still talking? Uh... Make an attempt. He's gone red, so it must be a bad thing. Um, anyway, so um, Telltale Games, uh, they're a company who made um, the infamous uh, Walking Dead series. Oh. So I don't know if you guys know who PewDiePie is. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Um, so he was playing this series called um, The Walking Dead, and it was like a simulation where you select certain things to happen, and it's telling a story at the same time. Um, so basically they did Batman and they did a couple of other things as well. And, uh, yeah, basically they've shut down, uh, because they were spending way more than they were actually earning. So therefore they're, that's not a very good way to grow a business. Yeah. I'm just going to let you guys know that if you're planning on, on having a business, try and realize that what you earn, you should, uh, oh, well, he, he jumped in the VIP and back in again. Is it, how's his mic? How's his mic? Oh. Oh, um, is, is he going to try again? No. Um, so if you if you if you have a company and you're trying to make a game, 
and or I, I, any company in general okay if you sell something and you make something from that try and use some of that to grow your company not the whole fucking amount um or, or more than that you know because then you might find yourselves in the same predicament as Telltale Games. Um, so celebrate celebrated studio, Telltale Games. And literally, these guys are like super famous. I mean, it's not like like The Walking Dead made their business, basically, mm. you know. And they fucked up by just way over budgeting on this shit. But anyway, let's have a look at this. Uh, shuts down in the measiest way possible. Uh, this was Measious. reporting nine months. Me measiest. Messiest. Measiest, yeah. Measy, whatever the fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> um, so over the past 14 years, okay? That's not yesterday. That's a long time, okay? 14 years ago, I would have been... Um, how old would I have been? Probably like 20-something. 20, 20, yeah, 22, maybe 21. Um, I know, I look like that right now, right? <laughs> I know. Oh, God. Uh, over the past 14 years, California-based game development studio Telltale Incorporated made a name for itself with its range of well-crafted adventure and story-driven tales. I mean, titles. That includes hits like The Wolf Among Us, Tales from the Borderlands, and adaptations of popular franchises, including Batman, The Walking Dead, Minecraft, and Game of Thrones. Sadly, Telltale's journey came to an end last week when it abruptly pulled the plug on the majority of its operations and left between 225 and 250 employees without a job. CEO P. Holly explained that it all came down to poor sales. Did you see what I'm um, right? He tried to play in the bottom only section. What? Did you see what Loki tried playing in the, with the music one? No. He he's trying play, to play music. He tried to play John Cena not loud. <laughs> 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 what do I suppose you're doing? Okay. Does this guy speak English? I don't know. Oh, my God. He's still static. He's still in here. I can't believe yeah. it. Oh, my God. Can, someone, can you private chat him and just tell him, like, you know, your mic's fucked up and you need to fix it? If you want to be able to be heard on the live stream. Um, right. Anyway, so this is what happened. Okay. The CEO says poor sales. Okay. And then he says for immediate release. Today, Telltale Games made the difficult decision <laughs> to begin a majority studio closure following uh, a year no, marked yes. by instrum in instru insurmountable challenges. That's a big word. Uh, a majority of the company's employees were dismissed earlier this morning with a small group of 25 employees staying on to fulfill the company's obligations to its board and partners. CEO Pete Hawley, blah, blah, blah. It's been an incredibly difficult year for Telltale Games, which makes no sense. Okay, by the way, guys, okay, if you look at the, the business turnaround on this game, on this company, it makes no sense how they lost all of their money. Okay, yeah. it makes no sense. They were making a shit ton of money. Okay, so anyway, just a quick breakdown. In addition, it cancelled the highly anticipated second season of The Wolf Among Us. Only 25 members of Telltale staff will remain to complete existing obligations like the final season of The Walking Dead, which actually made them so much dough. It's becoming clear just how poorly this move was handled by management at Telltale. Uh, some former employees reported that they didn't even receive servants pay. <laughs> servants pay. Some employees were hired roughly just a week before the abrupt major majority closure. That's just the roof some the will see their healthcare expire in just a few short days. Uh, yeah, obviously it's America. You got to pay for that goddamn healthcare. <laughs> uh, to clarify some questions, this was reported by Emily Gray's book. Um, to clarify some questions people have been asking, and keep in mind, I'm not a company rep. Around 250 people are jobless, not 225. We did not get any kind of severance. Our health care only lasts for one or more weeks. More, many former employees were contact and get and can't get unemployment something. Uh, as if it isn't hard enough to have the rug pulled out from under your feet. <laughs> <laughs> like this, it's worth remembering that Tate 
was based in the Bay Area, where the costs of housing and living are among the highest in the fucking country. There, it isn't easy to grow and thrive in the game industry, and it's especially difficult when you, you're targeting a niche the way Telltale. Move offices, okay? Top tip. You can just move the business. You, you make a digital product, okay? You make a product you can sell from anywhere in the goddamn world. You don't have to sell it in the Bay Area, okay? You haven't got people coming to the front. Spam me, please. What the hell is he saying? Spam me. Spam me. I speak English. LOL. Hi. I'm trying to ban this channel on YouTube. Help me, please. Da -da -da -da. What channel is that? What the hell? What's up? Subscribe. Like, why is he trying to ban that channel? What's up? Oh. What? Is, uh, I don't know. This kid's writing in the chat. Can you see him? He wants me to get this channel banned. I don't really do things like that. Uh, unless you can get all of your subscribers to come and subscribe to my channel, then maybe I can help you. You can have my, uh, you can but... have my subscribers. Uh, excellent. Let's do it. Actually, how many subscribers do you have? Um, Let's check. I haven't checked in a while. I oh. have uh, your channel. I don't have much. I stopped posting for a while, but I have 65 subscribers. 65. Yeah. Okay. I'll take I take every single one. <laughs> well, I, are you subscribed to your own channel? Can you do that? I think you can. Oh well, no! Balcods, yeah. don't you dare do that! You can jump straight into the chat, dude. What's wrong with you? Come over here, god damn it! Get over here! I Get over to the chat. Balcods is the friggin' he made this friggin' thing. <laughs> he made he made he made this for me, and then he he's admin. Can you see he's admin yeah, number two? He's there. And and he's he's playing FH4 modded account. Get your ass in the goddamn podcast. God damn it, about God damn it. I mean, this guy is legendary. He's been around for years. Anyway, so Telltale Games, big company, fucked up. I don't know how. And then before you know it, they fucking ended it in a, in a flash. And the sad thing is, I don't know if of any numbers. Let me see if we can find out some numbers. So the company should have handled this a lot better, certainly. Uh, so at the end of last year, it laid off 25, blah, blah, blah. Sales been flagging, and that's been using aging technology that wouldn't serve it well for the future. Uh, the only silver lining on this dark cloud is that Telltale Jobs is currently being used by former employees, fans, and other game studios to help the company's laid-off staff find new gigs. Is picking up steam on Twitter. Hopefully, the team will find new homes in short order. I mean, it's quite bizarre. I don't even understand, right, how they got away with doing what they did. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's totally bizarre. I mean, when I heard about it happening, I thought, nah. No way, dude. That's impossible. You can't just... You cannot just, you know... Lose that. You, you can't... You, you, yeah, you, you, just, you just can't shut a company down and you're done. Yeah. There's got to be more to it than that, right? But it's not the case. Buy a FH4 account now, XD. What is an FH4 account? Yeah, what is what that? Is that? <laughs> dude, tell us what that is. We want to know. Join, join, um, join the call but, and tell us. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, back, back to... The, yeah, come into the chat and tell us what it is, you goddamn son of a gun. Okay, get over here. Get onto the Discord, the Discord podcast chat, okay? And you can tell us all about it. No, we're not going to accept any more written comments, okay? You have to come over in and, and, and actually promote this, okay? You want us to buy it, <coughs> promote it. <laughs> um, so, you, you know what? Basically, right, it's... it's hey, there he is. There he is, the legend himself. Do you guys want to see what Balkos looks like? I've got literally hundreds of nudes from him, okay? Literally. Please send. Balkos, what's going on, dude? His mic's on continuously on. He's got yeah. push to talk on. Turn off that goddamn push to talk, goddammit. I can't hear him, though. God damn it. No, he's not talking right now. His mic's just on. Oh. <laughs> Say something! Say something, I'm giving up on you. Hello. Oh, hello. There he it's is. It's your boy, Belkadis. There, there he is. <laughs> hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Mate, hello. Listen, 
Listen, what you've been doing with that girls? What you've been doing with those girls, man? Okay, this this boy on Instagram is terrible. Okay, he's the <laughs> worst ever. Yeah, okay, check him out, Balkas. Okay, on Instagram, it's fucking his pictures are the best. Literally, if you want to know what Balkas looks like, check him out on Instagram. Have okay? you seriously yeah. leaked my nudes? You fucking dude, you fucking for real, bro. Dude, I, I I haven't leaked them yet. Oh, but the thing okay. is, yeah. is that is it, what's really <laughs> hilarious, right? Is you know, you know, you know what? I tell you what. I, one thing I've been really impressed with, and I, I I don't know if you've realized, I've been liking them, right? Is all of those artwork that you've been doing? Wait, with my dick? Oh, you mean like? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not not the dick pic, oh, not okay, the dick okay. pic. The other, the other, the other artwork. Oh yeah, doing, yeah. You know? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is. I'm not joking, right? Balkans is a is a hidden, like gem. Okay, I'm not joking. I I think you know you could, it could become a big thing. You must really like his nudes. <laughs> you should check it out. I'm telling you now. Go check it out. I'm not fucking around. Go and check it out. You'll see for yourself. See if I'm bullshitting. Okay, you go have a look at Balkans. Balkans, you can drop your freaking Instagram in the fucking thing anyway. So just drop it in there. And you'll see. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, go and have a look at his artwork. You know, the fact that it's just coming out of his imagination. You don't even his, make his, that from any of these. What's his Instagram? It's, it's just, 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 just type Balkans. Just type his name. Yeah. You see it. Yeah. He's the only one called Balkans anyway. Um, the only one. Dude, what do you think about Telltale? What, what, what's this for, uh, Forza Horizon 4 you keep banging on about? Why are you playing this game for? You into racing now? Yeah, it's, it's a racing game. You don't have Forza? Yeah, I've got Forza 3. That's when I stopped playing on Xbox. Oh, God, are you Balkans with your profile picture, Pew Pew? Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah, followed you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey, another follower. Um, he's going to leak your news now, Balkos. He's oh, going to leak your news. I does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, so go on. Talk to us about Forza Horizon 4. What is it a multiplayer game? Yeah, it is. So, like, right, you can play question. it on Xbox. Uh, you can play it on Xbox and PC, I guess. Yeah. And You're I banging just, it on PC, yeah, right? Yeah, I just modded. Yeah, I'm on PC. Well, you modded your account already. Yeah, I did. What's happening with uh, what's that? What's that? What's that GTA shit you were doing? M4? No, 4M. Wait, what? What, is it what do you mean? Oh, the 4H. Um, the F H4. No, modded no, no, no. He 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 was playing oh. with a bunch of um, role players. What was it called again? Oh, five M. Five M. That's it. How is that going? You you stopped that now? Yeah, I what? did stop oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. What, did you get a bit boring? Yeah, pretty much. So, like, everybody is stopping now. All my friends are stopping. So, like, why would I play it? Really? What? 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 Is roleplay dead then? 5M is just dead. So. Yeah. Where's it become a bit toxic? Nah, pretty much. See, this is what my problem is with doing the Sunday. See, that's why I'm trying to stick it to the PS3 and not jump on PC. Because I, I'm, this is what I'm worried about, is that I'm going to start getting people from that genre who have, like, Fuck the game up, and now I'm gonna come to my stream and try and jump into the role play on GTA. And fuck yeah, I this get thing it, I get well. it. Mm. But you don't have like yeah, original is... cars, and you can't make your original cars, you know. No, but the thing is, I can get the modders to still make me levels that we can just bang out, you know, with some control. Yeah, I it used to be a modder for you, like I know, I don't know, and you fucked off. I don't know what you're doing. You know, you're I don't fucking saying, know, bro. Uh, <laughs> we we were selling the goddamn accounts and then and then you vanished and I was like okay we can't even promote his accounts anymore I've had to put that on mute because people were like yo can he do me this kind of account can he give me do me that kind of account and I'm like well I don't know because he doesn't even tell me if he can no I don't sell it anymore it's like a year ago maybe longer <laughs> okay guys he doesn't do PS3 accounts stop asking me for GTA accounts okay for God's sake yeah, maybe I, I will send my console to you so you can use it. Oh fuck that, Bal! Because what's wrong with you? Look, you don't, you don't, you don't just want think, it. Just think about, just think about the time, right? Just think about the time when I was trying to get this started, the Discord chat started, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just remember how much headache that was for me to do, to the point where you had to gain access to my computer to get it set it set up. No, I know, dude, dude. I mean, li literally, okay. People ask me all these fucking. <laughs> difficult questions like uh, what's your cpu how the fuck should i know okay <laughs> all i know is that the fucking thing works okay i plug something into it and it works okay don't ask me complicated questions hey, okay mean, even this setup here is fucking literally out of control i'm sure if barcodes even looked at this he'd be like you could do this so much easier wait by the way have you seen my new setup 
I haven't seen your setup yet. You haven't. I thought oh, you was gonna do a picture God. on Instagram for us, but you didn't. You didn't do one. There you go. You didn't. You didn't do one. You didn't put one on Instagram. There you go, there you go. I don't know why. Oh, that's nice, Jesus. Ooh, it's fucking clean, isn't it? Him. Look at him, boy. That looks sick. That looks sick. That did you see? Hey, did you see my new setup? You saw my new setup, right? I did. My setup video. Yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, but this is this is very sick. What did you do with all the wires, dude? Or did you just take it in the dark? If you put the lights on, there's wires literally everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 you know what? That's everyone's nightmare. Literally, if I look, look I'll, 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 move camera, right? I'll, I'll move the camera, right? I'll move the camera, right? Look, look, look. This is this is the camera, okay, in the studio, okay. So you're gonna see this live. Like, so look at look at this. Look, I've got a drink over here. Look at these fucking wires everywhere. Look, there's just wires all over. Look, look behind here. Look at this shit. There's fucking wires so everywhere, bro. Literally, people are like look at look at these fucking pictures everywhere. They're like, oh, it looks sick, man. Blah blah blah. The lights are dope. There's fucking literally wires all over there. I don't even know what goes into what anymore. I mean, if something accidentally broke, I'd be fucked. I wouldn't even know what to do with it. I wouldn't know how. To, I mean, I remember the mic stopped working at one point, and I was like, what have I done wrong? What have I changed? I've touched something. What have I? T- <laughs> what button have I pressed? I literally did it some cleaning. You, you see, you, it's, you it's see re- the pick. You see the pick. <laughs> it's behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing. Hey, that's nothing. You're, you're a goddamn amateur. Check this out. This is this is the wires in my studio. Okay, check this out. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look. Tell oh me that God. is. Look at. Look at this shit. <laughs> that's. That's the wires in the studio, okay? That, oh that's my what god, runs this shit. Oh god. <laughs> this is what makes this work, okay? Without all <laughs> this shit that, that's why people go to me, T4, why 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 is it lagging? Oh my god, I'm watching your video, T4, it's so laggy. What what do you think? I've got so much current running. I, I reckon if, if if you could just like if I had a problem down here, I'd be dead. If I get electrocuted down here, I'm fucked, okay? Literally. <laughs> There's no escaping this shit. Literally. But was that is that the, still the current cell? Is that no? Oh, that's yours. That's what boxes one. That's nice. That's clean. That's that's a clean setup. I like that. That's like you know what I even wanted to do like the whole drilling in the table and running the cables yeah. through there and and uh, and then I thought no you know what fuck it don't even do that just just build the fake wall <laughs> and put everything through the wall and then make it all come out of the wall and I was like yeah this is great ideas but it takes so long if I was to do that it would take I'll be off for another month. Or something, and then people will be like, "This kid's dead. He doesn't even make content anymore." And I'm like, "No, it's not my fault." I wanted, I wanted to have a PC desk, so you put the little parts in the actual desk itself. It sucks, yeah, looks so clean, though. Big. Yeah, it's clean, it, dude. It's so expensive, dude. I mean, the thing is, is I would love to have like a bigger, a better. I, I don't know. I, the thing is, my table. I find the studio is. I, I, I wanted to rearrange the studio to have things in a different place, but. Um, I'm not going to do it just yet because I might be moving studios anyway. So I might be going downstairs, which would be great. And then I'll have a, the, the you know what it is? It's the shape of the studio is awkward. And that's where I'm kind of restricted of where things can go. But if it was like a square room, it'd be different. Cause then I'd be like, I could put this here. I could put that there. And it could be just for that purpose, you know, whereas this is kind of like studio slash movie room slash games room slash, fuck around room that's what it's basically become um anyway uh rafael caritas what's up you want to join the chat come over to discord.com you want a link he wants a link i know he wants a link actually he's already in the discord chat isn't he i don't even know yeah see if that still works click on it jump in come and say hi sure we'll play a game um no, before we play a game, Telltale Games, man, we we got to get back on this. Okay, they shut down, they they fired all their people. What's your opinion, Balcos? What do you think about this? Did you hear about this happening? No, no, I didn't. Dude, they laid off two hundred and fifty of their employees in a flash, like that. No, pretty easy, Literally. isn't it? Fourteen <laughs> years, dude. Yeah, it's f- dude. Fourteen, fuck? fourteen years. Okay, they were doing this for fourteen years, and they were on, they were on, they were they were in the Bay Area in America, right? which is like a very expensive place to, to stay. And I'm just thinking like, you know, after about 10 years when you've obviously made a pretty good return, yeah, yeah. you think you just, you just move the office to like a less expensive area so that you could just keep growing. Cause they were doing really well. It was a shock for me. Anyway, so like what happened? I mean, 
Well, the thing is, is that they, they, they just, <laughs> they basically, you know, this is business 101, everyone. I like guess it's turning into a business, business lesson. Business 101. But basically, right? <laughs> it, 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 it's become a business lesson, literally. That's exactly what's turned into now. Because basically, you know, you make, you, you, you have a product. Balkans knows about this. You have a product. It has a shop going anyway. Is it going good? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. It's going decent. Um, so basically, it's going decent. So, so anyway, you make a product or you, you have a product or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And then. You you put you market that product and then people buy that product right and then you make money from that and whatever profit you make you reinvest some of it to make to grow whatever it is you've got and some of it you keep for yourself to you know maintain your life or whatever it is. These fuckers they were like making a ton of money and then they were spending the whole lot and more. So they were not only spending the profits they were making by paying their staff and all that shit and then investing whatever's left, they were then taking out loans to go that extra mile because it was going to be huge. Like, it's like um, like with Minecraft, you know, like it's been around forever, right? And it's just like, it doesn't get small. It just gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. And they, they probably, they thought, I think they thought they were going to be like that. I don't know. But it didn't work. It didn't fucking work, okay? <sighs> they literally... They, they they went the opposite. So basically, they ended up shutting down. And they were doing so... I mean, I don't know if you if you guys know who PewDiePie is. I mean... Yeah, everyone some, knows. Yeah, who the fuck Swedish, doesn't know? What the fuck? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a Swedish YouTuber who's got like 90 million subscribers. Yeah, it's, had a it's just thing, 90 you know. million. Bro, I got yeah, like 10 like, million. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 no, no, just like 90 just million just subscribers. 90. So, yeah, I don't know if you know him. You know, He's not like I the do, biggest or anything. Of course but, I do. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> so PewDiePie, right? He was playing this fucking game from this company. Um, it was uh, the what was it was the name was the game the game name again? Forgotten the name. Fuck. Minecraft. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> no, the no 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 no. It was the Walking Dead. They make like um, you know, they make like um, crafted adventure and story driven titles. You know, that's the kind of games that they make. They're, yeah. They 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 they. Do you remember a game called Thirteen that was on the PS3? Was it called again? No, I don't. Thirteen. It was. It was. I the, think so. the, the title of the game was like. Is it X, like fight it? Like triple one. No, 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 no. It's Why? not. It's, it was like. No, I'm telling you now. If you guys never got to play this game and you still own a PS3, I'd advise you to go and play it because it was. Um, I thought personally, I thought it was a fucking great game at the time. I don't want to play it again because I know I would ruin the the, the the memories I have of it. But compared to what we've got nowadays, but the game was so it was a unique game because mm-hmm. the way the animations were done, it was done like drawing style, like like a comic. But you know, like how you take a picture and you change it to comic, yeah. like cartoon. That's what it that's what it looked like. It was like that kind of look about it. So it was like they look real, but they're not really real. And this is what these guys did with Telltale Games. They did the same thing, uh, but it was just story driven. So you, a bit like um, Detroit Become Human, where you pick like an outcome and then it leads you down a story path. And then there's all these possible outcomes that could happen depending on what your choices are like, who you save, who you kill, so on and so forth. Mm. So this is what it was like. And they, they did really well. And PewDiePie was shouting these people out. So, you know, if you've got the biggest... And at the time, I think he was on like 60 million or something or 70 million subscribers, maybe. Yes. So at, that, so at that size, you know, if you're shouting out anyone, you're, they're going to get a massive return on that, mm. no matter what. That's free advertising, you know? It's not like he was getting paid to even play the game. He's just playing the game and he enjoyed it so much that he just felt like, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, then it literally, while he's playing the game, the company announces it's shutting down. Mm. That's pretty weird. That's totally fucking weird. That's totally weird, man. And no one till this day knows if they, like, how much they were made. Like, no one knows how much of that money they invested back into the business. No one knows. This is just all, like, speculation when I'm saying stuff like they took the money and they spent it more than what they, that's what they said they did. No one actually knows factually what they did with the money. No one knows. So it could be a whole, like, you know, they made a lot of money and the guy, the CEO thought, fuck the rest of you. I'm not even into gaming. You know, I, I'm into child porn. You know, I'm getting the fuck out. You know, I, don't, child I don't know. Porn, you know? So like, I, I don't know, dude. Fuck, I don't bro. know. I, 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 I don't know, bro. I'm just saying, you know, you've got a great thing going. Why, why are you bailing on it? You know, it, it, it's just, it's suspect. You know, it's just suspect. You know, why would you, why would you be, why would you bail on such a big thing? 
You know, it's like saying, you know, Epic Games brings out Fortnite and then they're like, oh, fuck this. We made we made $230 million in the month of March, but we're going to bail on it. You know, fuck it. We, we can't be bothered. Mm. It makes no sense, right? Yeah. I wouldn't do it. So I, I'm just like, you know, why would the CEO make the announcement? Because it's only one guy. It, 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 there, there is a board and stuff like that, but he has the ultimate decision. He's the only one who made that decision to sack everybody and just to keep 25 people behind just to finish the obligations that they had to do which is I, I 14 years dude and then that's it i don't know what's your opinion what do you think what's going on what are they hiding i don't know they're hiding child porn oh, oh, how do i should know <laughs> i don't even know but do you not think that's suspect that's not so bizarre mm. yeah it is it's totally weird but anyway these are the stories let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you're watching us live or watching us on playback. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Wox, is there anything you want to add to this fucked up story as it is? Mm, not really. <laughs> I don't know. This... I mean, I mean the, the thing is... <laughs> yeah, I, I, the, the thing is, no one's ever even going to remember this company. You know, it, you know the, the thing for me is that... Because obviously I'm a gamer. And the thing is, is that, you know, gaming's been... It's been my whole life. And it, it's still my life now. Like... I've been able mm. to build a company from it and like it's insane and I owe it all to gaming. I don't owe it to anything else. You know, it's not like, you know, it's, it's got nothing to do. So when I hear these things happening, mm. I just think like there's someone in, in the industry who's taking the piss, you know, like they're taking advantage of like us like as gamers to create this community or community create this, 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 this want and desire for this genre. Cause even the people who, like they didn't finish the games you know which is bullshit right mm -hmm. um and they've made money from what we have demanded and then they're like oh fuck it we're done like the thing is like g games are just evolving like they're, 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 they're not going to go down if anything they're going to go up in sales or like usage or playing or whatever they're not going to go down I mean, it's the thing is, I always resort back to a game. I always resort back to GTA Five, yeah. right? You look at GTA Five, okay? They they re it was released on the PS3. The PS4 was released, and then they re-released the same fucking game on the PS4. Yeah, gave everyone a chance to transfer their account from the PS3 to the PS4. All of us modders, all of us hackers, we fucking. I mean, I brought twenty four billion dollars over to that game, okay? Literally, okay? No fucking around. They didn't even yeah. know I did it, and then from that. I mean, how long has that game been going on now? Seven uh, years? A long time. Something it's fucking ridiculous. And it's just growing. Yeah. That, mate? Now, they've got, now they've got some casino thing coming out. Like some casino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, still have, have they still have stuff coming out constantly. And then they brought out Red Dead Redemption 2, which I'm not even going to lie. I mean, fucking hell. Legit fucking what a game. I mean, yeah. I love the game. Love the game. And it's been my kind of transition from GTA to Red Dead because it's just so much better, I think, than what GTA has to offer. But that's my opinion. Mm. But the thing is, GTA is still there. It's got a ma I mean, even if you go on Twitch and you check out GTA's viewers, yeah. it's not dying. The game is still a relevant game. And it's fucking old now. If you look at Minecraft, it's 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 still relevant. Yeah. So I just think about all these games. Like people invested time, people invest money. And then you've got these people who have come in, been around for 14 years, and then just like yeah. out of the blue. It's lit. You it's know, just, do you know CSGO? Just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That game is literally exactly. from 1994. <laughs> like, they're, they're CS Source and the CS, the original. Oh, you it still mean, you mean like the old one? Yeah, like the old one. It's still like evolving into CSGO, which people still play today and people download today. Yeah, true. It's true. It's, it's still a freaking competitive game. Mm. People are still like playing in championships for yeah, that game yeah. just look at shroud this th that, that game literally built shroud's career and he has a living from it yeah yeah exactly that and and i just think like you know we invest our time as gamers and i just think companies like this who come about and like it's not the company that's at fault it's the people who run it mm -hmm. who take the piss you know and then and then like you you can see like there's people who have put their time and effort into making sure the games are good you know like you've got game developers you've got game creators you've got you got the devs you've got a lot of people who are involved in this shit you know and they're all just like dispensable they're just like oh you're just a piece of shit i'm just gonna throw you out the door and that's it it's done you know i'm i'm done so you're done mm. you know when the guy at the top he's, he's just a dick as it were you know that's the way i look at it 
And I just think, you know, that's not right. I think there should be more. There should be more for them to answer. And there's, there is nothing else. This story came out nine months ago, and there is no follow up on what happened to the CEO, what happened to the employees, what happened to. There's nothing. It's just like, boom, it's gone. It's done. Mm. And this is why I bring up these stories because I just think, yeah, they have a level of relevance in the sense that they affect our industry, and we are not keeping these people. We're not making them accountable for what they're doing. They're just coming along creating something abusing a lot of people in the process and then they just fucking leave with billions in their pocket and no one says where's the money you know that's just what i think mm -hmm. i don't know what you guys think let me know what you think i don't know but um i mean that's what that's the story anyway that's what i think anyway because you've got anything you want to add dude wait what <laughs> <laughs> they was watching you your last video like, uh, note nine uh, video did you watch it? Yeah, at the moment. <laughs> Hilarious, right? <laughs> I don't even get it why you blur the faces out in Oh, well, seconds. the kids. Oh, because... Well, I asked the wife, right? Oh, the, like, they wouldn't leave the video while I was recording, right? Mm -hmm. So then the kids, they were like... The, the wife said to me, no, I don't want the kids on, on the internet, okay? No matter what. So fucking blur them. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I, I did a, like a very miniaturized blur. And then she was like, no, I want that whole area disappear. <laughs> Why okay? did just I don't want to see shit. Something? What the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, then. Uh, I'm not like a professional video oh, okay. editor. I mean, uh, everything I know I've learned myself from like other YouTubers and tutorial videos and stuff like that. And I literally had to Google. I had to, I had to YouTube like how to blur like a whole section and i tried to do like a an effect thing and it didn't work and i just thought fuck it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna blur it like i always blur everything and just fucking blur it and that was it i was like it's like the, the weird part do? of the whole video oh, like, well that's a nice it's phone to be honest so it's like how much phone. did it oh how my much god did it cost? dude nothing how much did you pay for zero for it? nothing i didn't how pay much, anything how much dick did you suck for it I bet so like I a few. Monthly, I, I I I just pay I just pay a monthly contract. That's all I do. I how pay a monthly is, contract. Oh, yeah, how much? Okay. How much? Monthly contract is uh, uh I pay thirty six pound a month. I don't know what that is yeah, in euros. How, how much probably like thirty eight. Probably thirty eight euros. Thirty nine. I pay I pay a hundred and fifty bucks a month for my phone. Damn! <laughs> Wait, how much? Bro, 160 bucks? 150 dollars. Australian dollars, which is expensive. For what? What What phone is that? I've got for? an iPhone XS Max with 200 fuck, gigabytes of data. Fuck, man. Well, that's pretty cool, though. 200 gig a day, that's pretty good. I get 30 gig a day, so... But I would never, ever use that, though. That's the thing. I, I, went, here, I used literally to have 100 it. last year, and I went over it, so... Damn! What the fuck are you watching? Pornhub, like, all day, every day? I hotspot myself at school, because <laughs> the school is in that shit. It's for, it's for oh, but that's the thing. You see, like, like over here, the, the, see the infrastructure here is a bit different because obviously, wherever you go, there's internet, yeah. and it's like, it's it, oh, it's, it's forty perfect. euro. It's like it's forty, forty. Right, so so forty euros. So so the phone was was is thirty six pound a month, and or forty euros, and I get thirty gig of data, unlimited minutes, unlimited text, and I literally get free Wi Fi hotspot in the train and on the bus. Like and, unlimited or uh, like limited? No, it's unlimited. Oh, okay. Yeah, unlimited. In, yeah, so if I'm in a train and I connect to their Wi-Fi, it's like got this partnership thing where it just lets me join the Wi-Fi and I can just use it as much as I want. Um, and I didn't pay a single penny for the phone. Like the phone was free. They just sent me the phone. No, I get it. It was it's great. It's like 50 euro in the Netherlands. So like 50 euro and you get a phone, like the same phone you have. It's like 50 euro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Think that. The, but Note the, thing 9, is could... the Note Nine to buy out right in Australia is like twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, but that it's about a thousand pound here. Yeah. yeah, same price. Yeah, it's so, almost so the same. Yeah, same yeah it's almost. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, but the thing is, the phone is fucking insane. I'm not even yeah. joking. I mean, I've got, got it here next to me, right? And and I'm telling you what, the camera on it is fucking out of this planet, man. Four K. I, I, mm. And I thought that. Ah, Digital camera, what the fuck can it do with 4K? I've got an SLR camera to do better than that. But you know, the video I recorded, right, of myself uh, doing the Note 9 video, uh, I wanted to do another video with me using my SLR camera and that recording me instead. And I just wanted to do an edit, post edit, and see what it looks like. And I'm telling you what, the, 
It's amazing. Yeah. It's so good. The camera is insane. Uh, even the aperture, like you can do like professional yeah. photographs with it. Like you can control air, the light. Uh, uh, you can turn like daytime into nighttime if you wanted to with it. I have, I've seen videos of that phone. Yeah. It's amazing, man. Because I want to really, move, I'm, I I'm move not... to the S10 Plus. Because that looks sick. Yeah. You know what? My my brother-in-laws have got the S10 Plus and even that is is pretty impressive. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. The wife wants that next. And I said to her, get it, but she hasn't gone around to getting it yet. But I'm telling you now, I mean, if you live in the United Kingdom and you need a phone and you want it cheap and you want a, the best phones on the market, I cannot, I cannot rate. A oh my God, sponsor alert. Okay. <laughs> Can, I, I, I cannot. They're, not, they're, not, even, they're not even sponsor of the What's channel. That's the thing. Phone? I'm literally, you know, you know what they say? They, they say if you love something, yeah, if you love something, you become a natural advocate for it. Like, for example, I love Balkans' painting to such a point where I'm shouting it out for free. I'm telling you to go check out Instagram. He's even dropped the 20% off in the in the Discord chat. I haven't said anything. It's just that I saw the paintings and I thought, you know what? That is actually really good painting. You know, it's like it's it's out there. It's not like just like shit you've seen before. That's what I like about it, you know? And I just think like, you know, anything that you love, you will naturally just like, you just shout it out. You won't even, you don't even think about it. You just, you so just what you're it. saying is you yeah, should shout me out, yeah? Because you love me. You just said that you. But you didn't make anything, so at, bro. When, when was <laughs> the last time? When was the last time you? <laughs> when did you? When did you last time? When was the last time you? Uh, you you uploaded to your channel? Me. Yeah. Uh, let's check. Six it was. <laughs> no, 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 not that long ago. Not not that long ago. Okay. Um. Okay. About you, you came out like ten years ago, maybe. Um. Two months ago. <laughs> Oh wow, that's like a that's like uh, eight months that's in YouTube world. Decent, I guess. <laughs> I went. I, I've only I haven't uploaded much, but I've got four years ago, four years ago, four years ago, four months ago, two months ago. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's been a bit of a gap. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I mean, I I literally didn't stream for a month, and I lost like eighteen subscribers mm. in that time, and then I, I started streaming again, and I made bit. promises. I made I made promises that I knew I would just fail on, and it it's it's showing. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's showing. I'm literally as... today's. I've managed to do three days in a row. You know, tomorrow's yeah. gonna be day four. Hopefully, we can smash that out as well. And then we've got Sunday. And we can smash that out. And dude, I've done a week. I I would have done a week. I can't believe it. I you know, literally. And stopped for four years. <laughs> That's the that that is the downer. I mean, the thing is, I I personally believe getting from zero to a hundred is tough getting from 100 mm. to 500 is fucking like the most I, I think that's easy to yeah. go from 100 to 500 because I went from, but then to go from 500 to 1000 oh my god is that that is, because people have to invest in then then people anyone who's subscribing from that point onwards they're investing into your shit you yeah. know they they are like you know they're like investing their time they're investing their energy they're watching your shit even if it's crap they're fucking watching it and uh, me, I can't seem to get past 1.8. I just cannot break to the 2,000. Most, it just won't let me. What's your most viewed video? What's my biggest? 35,000, yeah. I think. Your most viewed 40, video is 35,000? Yeah, or 40,000, yeah. It's 40K. Yeah, that's the biggest. 40. The Elgato oh, oh, it's 40K. Thing. The Elgato one, yeah. Yeah, it's 40K now. Yeah. So, um, but I've not been able to make, I, I don't know, it's really difficult. I find those fucking tutorial videos do so well, but I don't want to make my channel about tutorial videos, you know? That's not what I want to, I don't want to be another Asian guy <laughs> with a tutorial fucking channel, you know? It's so fucking annoying. It's like, you know, yeah, this guy must know something about fucking technology. He's brown. You know? Like, no, I don't, okay? I just buy shit because I like it, okay? I don't know anything about it. But uh, I don't know. I, I just think, I don't know. It's just, it's just really. Weird. I just cannot replicate. Like I made the Note Nine video, thinking, ah, this will be different from anyone else's video, hundred percent. But then I'm thinking, is it, is it too different that people who watch it think this is annoying? And they're like, no, I wanted factual information, so that's what I wanted. Yeah. But there's too many of those videos, man. There's too many videos that are just so factual. They're just so normal, you know. I'm just like, break the mold. But anyway, we've completely drifted from the topic yeah. anyway if you guys want to drop your comments down about anything that we talked about today let me know in the comments down below this was the most interesting podcast i've done in a while i think 
Um, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Uh, we'll be back again, obviously, next Friday with more podcasts for you guys. Uh, big shout out to Balcos. Big shout out to Wox for joining me in the chat. Also, low key lol for trying to join the chat, <laughs> but really struggling. It's quite funny because he even said to me in the chat, which I'll read out to you guys. He he sent me a private message saying, um, "Hi, hello. What do I suppose you're doing?" And then spam me, please. Ban this channel. There's a link to the channel. Can you join? to my discord server i mean really and then he sent me a load of invites to that discord server and that's where it all ended and then walk sent me take my subs he sent me a link to his channel and i'm going to rape that momentarily and then we've had oh a friend request let's quickly add that one and that's that everybody yeah balcons is the only one who's staying neutral uh, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna end it there. Uh, big shout out to the guys over at YouTube.com for whoever watched us over there, who managed sorry to watch us over there because uh, currently YouTube is saying to me, heads up, we've detected copyright audio and video in your stream. Your streaming may be temporarily blocked. So if you don't see the YouTube live stream tomorrow, you know why. Okay, <laughs> don't tell me I didn't tell you. Uh, also, if you're watching us over at Twitch.tv, massive shout out to you guys, uh, the whole thirteen of you that are left there. Slow cool works, Lokes, Commander Rook, Cash Bear. Angel of Light, uh, Bow Cards, uh, S1 Faker, Bloodluster, and uh, Community Showcase. Thank you for joining us over there. As always, uh, we will be back tomorrow with Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, with your boy and God knows who else. Most likely, there's going to be the whole crew from uh, where they're from again? That Slovenia, I think they're from. I can't remember the. Oh, fuck. I've got the name wrong. Anyway, it'll be back, pardon, and, and friends. And then whoever else is on, uh, come and join us. It's going to be quite interesting because I find the Red Dead Redemption live stream is hilarious. And I play for fucking ages as well. Um, um, quick question. What else is there? Um, yeah, go on. To join the Red Dead, do you add people in the chat? or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just have to... Um, if you're friends with me on PS4... I'm not. I, I was friends with you on PS3, not PS4. <laughs> okay, ps 3s changed. So it's not the same account as that okay. anymore. Um, it is, is it gonna, is it, is this thing working today? What is this fucking thing doing? Is it working? I don't know if it's, it's not working, is it? All right, let me try it over here. Cause you'll be in okay, this, you'll be in that, that, I've dropped it, I've, I've, dro I've dropped it, I've, dro I've dropped it in the chat. If you look on Twitch, you'll see that you see it. The PS3 is one, PS4 is one. So okay, cool. just send the request to the PS4 account and I'll add it like tomorrow. Um, we'll be starting. I don't know what time we'll be starting, uh, to be completely honest with you, but it will be at some point. Uh, and you guys are more than welcome to join the YouTube group that I've created, which is to let everybody know when I'm live, if I'm going to cancel a stream or whatever the fuck, it all gets sent there. So you can join that. I don't know. I can't remember. I have to send, I, I did send a link in the discord. I can send another one if people want me to send another yes, one. Please. It's not a problem. Um, and then you can join that group and then you'll know exactly when, like if I haven't said, I'm not going to cancel, I'll be live. But I just don't know what, at what point. Cool. Um, and, uh, there is a countdown on Twitch as well now on my main page, which shows you when the next stream is going to start and time roughly. So, Check that out if you want. Uh, but anyway, big shout out to the sponsors. Shout out to uh, Cinch Gaming, City Keys, and not forgetting those infamous people over at Razor.com. The T4 Army merchandise. I mean, the T4 Army merchandise. Not forgetting G2A.com, G4G, Streamlabs, The Gaming Pad, my company, and also the infamous people over at Epic Games who have given me a fucking creator code, finally. So if you guys want to sponsor your boy on Fortnite, hit that creator code. It's something you don't even have to spend money on. You can spend money buying your shit, and I can tell you how much I make when you spend your money. Be good, right? Anyway, that's the sponsors. Thank you very much for joining us. Big shout-out to you guys. I uh, will see you on tomorrow's stream. If you want to join us on a podcast next Friday, head over here. Uh, but until then, guys, as always, stay safe. Stay awesome. Because oh, you know the rest, right? No. Uh. And peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.